Welcome to our online Full Field Devotional Christmas Series. My name is Milton Roundtree. Today I want to talk to you about ununderstandable peace. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 states, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. The more I read this scripture, the deeper I look into the mirror of examination only to find that every situation is a target for worry. If you allow it, it will steal, kill, and destroy you. But God, who is looking to show himself mighty on our behalf, has provided an alternative. It is the fruit of ununderstandable peace. Since this blessing is beyond our understanding, it is exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. I witnessed this peace when my nephew got shot in the throat at school. My father and I began the two hour trip to the hospital where he was undergoing surgery. As I was speeding down the highway, my farmer father was commenting on the crops in the field. I couldn't understand why he wasn't anxious. He shared with me that he prayed before we left home and everything was going to be just fine. Worry caused me to hurry while peace caused him to rest in the Lord. Peace is a state of mind revealed through spiritual fruit. Peace is not the absence of conflict, it is the harvest of love. Peace is not the destination, it is the way. It is the assurance that whatever we're going through, God is with us, God is in us, and God is for us. Externally, we have the peace of God. Internally, we have the God of peace. Let me caution you, do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. Worry has a peace of its own, according to John 14, chapter 27th verse, which states that worldly peace does not come from God. Every blessing God provides is falsely duplicated by the enemy so as to say, hath God really said? Avoid deception according to Matthew 26 chapter, the 46th verse. Watch and pray that ye enter not into the enemy's camp. The obligations, the issues, and the constant demands of life have a tendency to distract our focus, and that's why we must wholly lean and depend on Jesus. The fruitful peace, seed of peace has been sown 13 times in this devotional, and I pray that your cup is running over with it. God, give us the strength to walk in the light of your peace as we journey through the storms of life. Love you, man of church, High Point. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.